Hello, I'm Bart from Explain Everything, the most innovative whiteboard and the knowledge exchange platform. Today, feeling the support of the product team behind me, I'm going to demonstrate how to use existing PowerPoint and turn it into a tutorial movie. For that, I'm going to use my iPad Pro here, equipped with Explain Everything. So I'll create a new project and we'll import slides using this tool here. I can choose File and choose from any cloud destination of your choice. I have my slides here. Press Import. Now, at this screen, we can decide how to import slides. We can choose to have them separately or come together as a grid on one slide. I'll try to do that. And as you see, this is just a four slides long presentation. First thing to notice, your slides are grouped together. We can change that with an inspector tool. So let me select the slides and here we have an option to ungroup them. Once you do that, you can see you can move them separately. Second thing to notice is that Explain Everything allows you to use the gigantic space where elements of your project can be positioned. In the lower left corner, you have a zoom tool here that you can use to pan and zoom around. For now, it will be easier for us to have those slides separately as we'll be just recording a simple movie. So let me come back to the first screen, create a project again, and import my slides, choosing the option to have them as a separate slides here. So far, so good. Now you can see we have a presentation that consists of four separate slides. You can move between slides here using the slide sorter. Now I'm ready to bring our slides to life. How do we do that? First of all, let's record voiceover. I'll hit record here. This is a presentation about the evolution of the medium used for exchanging knowledge. Let me play it back. This is a presentation about the evolution of the medium used for exchanging knowledge. As you can see, only my voice was captured as I provided no additional input. But this slide would be more interesting if we add, let's say, writing on top of this papyrus roll. It's so small, writing on, on it would be difficult. That's why we'll use Zoom tool again, but this time with a ninja mode here. Why ninja? Well, as we know, those guys were clever enough to sneak around without anyone else noticing. So you can do as Ninja would and zoom in or pan around without changing the view that will that is being recorded. So let me do the Ninja here. I'll rewind to the very beginning of this recording and the record again. This is a presentation about the evolution of the medium used for exchanging knowledge. All right. And as you can see here, my ninja perspective hasn't changed the recording, so I can play it back. This is a presentation about the evolution of the medium used for exchanging knowledge. Result of the simple recording brings us to the key distinguishing feature of Explain Everything. As you can see, I recorded the same thing twice. First, I added the voice. Then, recording again, I added a writing effect. I can repeat this trick over and over again, re-recording and adding new elements for a more sophisticated result. What Explain Everything does is that it repeats my movements and plays them back. It's kind of like a digital monkey that repeats after you and a digital pirate that speaks your words as you provided them. So let's add one additional effect to this slide before we end our work here. I'll try to type above the keyboard. This is a presentation about the evolution of the medium used for exchanging knowledge. 
and let's see how it plays together now. This is a presentation about the evolution of the medium used for exchanging knowledge. And there you have it, a cool effect with a very little effort. Let me show you what we can do with the static content of the remaining slides. So I'll go ahead and switch to slide number two. Here you have, we have a set of graphical elements that we could animate instead of having them without any movement. So I'll go ahead and first of all, I'll cut them out from their background using cut out tool. As you can see, I create a copy of those elements and I'll put those copies aside for now as I'd like them to enter my frame while doing recording. Okay, and I put the paper here and maybe tablet here. All right, since we have the ability to record voice, we don't actually need this text. So why don't we cover it with the rectangle, white rectangle here. It's going to be kind of like a fake background for us. Okay. Okay. Now you need to remember that because the background was created after those cutouts, it is above those objects now. So what I can do again is to use Inspector and change the arrangement. I can send this artificial background to the back and then one level to the front, covering the contents of my original slide. Now, on to recording. Here, I'll try to record both my voice and motion at the same time. And because I have those objects outside of the visible frame of the recording, I will just be bringing them in. So let's start with hitting record here. The capacity of medium for transferring information wasn't very impressive at the very beginning. The storage wasn't permanent either. Only after inventing papyrus in Egypt, things started to move forward. The remaining constraint, however, was availability and cost of the medium, such as parchment. Hit stop, and let's try to play it back. The capacity of medium for transferring information wasn't very impressive at the very beginning. The storage wasn't permanent either. Only after inventing papyrus in Egypt, I guess you have the idea now. <laughs> so let's move to slide number three. First of all, let's remove the bullet points. Nobody likes them really. We can do better with more authentic inscriptions. I'll remove this using a white pen. And now let's record the slide. The exchange of knowledge flourished with the invention of paper, but as a carrier information, it was still limited only to text and graphics. What? No voice or video? Obviously, YouTube had to wait. And as you see, Explain Everything captured all the strokes that I made with the pen tool. only to text and graphics. Okay, so let's move to the final slide. I'll remove the bullet points again. Be gone. We'll also, as before, cut out the iPad as I need it for my animation later on. I'll use the zoom tool with the ninja mode to move it aside. And I'll try to cover the existing iPad from the still slide with a white background. Now, all I need to do is to move this to the front so I can introduce the iPad while speaking about it. But first of all, 
or let's record the voice over. I hit record. Everything has changed with an advent of digital devices, such as the iPad, and proper software for knowledge transfer, such as Explain Everything. So we do have an audio track. Let's now find the moment where I speak about the iPad. Change with an advent of digital devices, such as the iPad. Here I'm speaking about the iPad, and I would want iPad to be introduced at this very moment. So I can pause on second number five, grab the iPad with my finger, and will introduce the iPad. It will fly onto the slide like this. iPad and proper software for knowledge transfer, such as explain. Hey, I'm speaking about explain everything, but I don't have any element suggesting it. Icon would be great. So since I don't have anything about it, I'll bring in Safari, go to the images, and look for explain everything icon. There you have it. All I need to do is to grab the icon and put it to the canvas. I don't need a browser anymore. I'll zoom in here, position my icon properly, and run the remaining recording, adding some more movement. Everything. Everything. All right. And let's play this slide back. Everything has changed with an advent of digital devices, such as the iPad, and proper software for knowledge transfer, such as Explain Everything. And perhaps I could also add that it provides you with the ability to use not only text and graphics, but audio and video. And since I added those descriptions on the second 11, it will just appear at this very moment on the second 11 here. And there you have it. Now we can play back the entire presentation, starting from slide one, using the golden play. What's the golden play? Well, press and hold play button so you can play the entire piece full screen. This is a presentation about the evolution of the medium used for exchanging knowledge. The capacity of medium for transferring information wasn't very impressive at the very beginning. The storage wasn't permanent either. Only after inventing papyrus in Egypt, things started to move forward. The remaining constraint, however, was availability and cost of the medium, such as parchment. The exchange of knowledge flourished with the invention of paper, but as a carrier information, it was still limited only to text and graphics. What? No voice or video? Obviously, YouTube had to wait. Everything has changed with an advent of digital devices, such as the iPad, and proper software for knowledge transfer, such as Explain Everything. So to recap, Explain Everything lets you turn your static content into an animated movie that you can uh, export to YouTube or make available under a link in no time. Let me show you how to do that. In the top right corner, you have this export button and you can hit create web video link. This will make Explain Everything upload this presentation to the cloud and create a link under which the video will become available once uploaded. And that's the link you can copy and use it anywhere else. That's it. Think how productive communication can be when instead of attaching slides, you could authentically communicate your points. And forget the bullet points. Use your voice and persuasion. Now, we've explained everything you can. Hope you enjoyed these instructions. Next time, we'll show you how to use explain everything when working over distance with others. Until then.